This is the classic summer sport, especially if you like cars, the roar of engines, and speed. Legal, safe way to pound on your car, so it's fun. Here at the Clarenville Dragway, acceleration is the name of the game. Zero to 100 miles an hour in a little better than one second. In drag racing, the cars race one quarter mile from a standing start. There are three classes, street, pro, and super pro. You'll see quite the uh, smoke show from the burnout to heat the tires. Dave Powell's Super Pro T-Bird has 1,100 horsepower. It blasts from zero to 180 miles per hour in just seven and a half seconds. To see drag racing from the inside, Dave took me for a little spin in his second car, a Pro-Class Fairlane. So what'd you say, zero to 60 did? Ah, uh, but one and a half seconds. This car pumps out a mere 800 horses. We've got to heat our tires up. The burnout before each race makes the big tires hot and sticky for maximum traction. A computerized timing system shows when cars are precisely at the starting line. Then a one and a half second countdown. Nine and a half exhilarating seconds later, it's all over. It's a great sport. It gets uh, young people off the streets and uh, gets them at the drag strip where they should be trying their cars out. We're safer in one of these cars than you're on a streetcar. As if you notice in the cars, it's all roll cages, five point harnesses. Still, this 1500 horsepower Mustang is one hairy drive. Well, he did the burnout, and I don't know if he's throttle stuck or something happened, but if you see the rubber marks, look, he was completely sideways. Drag racing is more complex than it looks, has a jargon all its own. Based on trial runs, drivers dial in their estimated time for the quarter mile, down to the hundredths of a second. If I dial in at 9.72 seconds, and I go down there at exactly 9.72 seconds, at the very instant the green light comes on, I can't lose. That's a perfect run. Driver reaction time is crucial, called cutting the light. The car has to be moving just as the green comes on, which is a perfect light, it's a .500. We lose races here by two and three thousandths of a second. I mean, it's not even a blink for long. It's a precision game. Run faster than you're dialed in time, you break out and you're out. Take off too quick, you get a red light and lose again. He seen the lights come down, he tried to guess when the green was coming on and he guessed too soon. Turns the red bulb on, that's an automatic loss, he's out. Winners race each other in eliminations. How consistently close a driver can get to that perfect run right on his dial-in is what makes champions. It's not a matter of who spends the most dollars going to win, it's a matter of who's the better driver. It's not necessarily the fastest car that wins, it's the most consistent car, most consistent driver. Clarenville Dragway will hold its final races of this season, September 23rd and 24th. For NTV News, I'm Steve Thompson.